I'm disappointed in you. I can't believe you actually like that black and white cat mascot. I'm a bear! <laughs> yes! Hello, beautiful people. David here with some more Dungarumpa 2. Goodbye, despair. We are continuing our investigation before our final trial. And now Hajime has gotten his hands on the file that I've been dying to get my hands on. So I can't wait to see what the information is. Containing my information, let's learn about Hajime. The profile contained basic information, such as my date of birth, my height and weight, and so forth. But there was one thing that specifically caught my eye. The words, Reserve Course Student! There's no denying it. It confirmed that I truly was a Reserve Course Student from the Reserve Department. Why is this the only thing that isn't a lie? Because the best lies are rooted in truth, or guised in truth. Surrounded by truth. Why? Why am I the only one who he here who's from the Reserve Department? Why am I here with all the other Ultimates? Hajime, did something happen? Uh, well, I found- I just found a strange file. Ah. Uh, is that the special prize Nagito received when he cleared the final dead room? As I recall, your student profile should be in there. It's not just my profile. The profiles of everyone in this island are here too. Nagito was lying. Huh? When you say everyone, do you mean everyone? Yep. Yeah, it's just basic information, but there should be profiles for all 16 of us. Can I... Take a look at that file. Uh, I'm nervous about this. Chucky leaned against me and peered into the file. Hmm. I don't know if I trust her. You're right. My profile is really in here. But unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any details. Interesting. Details? Details about our missing memories. Information about the time we spent at Hope's Peak Academy. I see, so it's all vague information. Hmm. If it's not written in there, these profiles might have been written before we entered the Academy. Hmm. Man, it's impossible to obtain new clues from them. Yeah, seems like it. Interesting. Oh, damn, that was kind of disappointing. Uh, hold on. Huh? What happened? I just noticed it right now, but... His name isn't in there, right? There's supposed to be 16 names worth of profiles, but his name is the only one missing. I right? swear to God, you are not playing the pronoun game with me right now. Who are you talking about? Byakuya. I'm talking about Byakuya Togami. Okay. Look carefully. No matter where I look, I don't see his name anywhere. Because he was in a different class. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What's going to happen now? I don't even... I can't. I can't. So what if a name isn't written in that file? Perhaps, based on that, you might think he might be the traitor! No, it's not just because his name isn't written in here. That's not the only reason I think he's suspicious. He participated in the killing school life at Hope Speak Academy, right? For someone like him to be in a similar situation on this island? No matter what, he, it's definitely suspicious. And he got quite large, which I think is only to give you an idea of how much time may have passed. Well, it pains me to say this, but what you're saying about the missing name and about the killing school life Too bad. is totally wrong. There's a completely different reason. A different reason? You're getting all riled How should I put this? You guys have been getting all worked up about that Biakia for no reason. Wait, excuse me, what? Uh, I'm sorry, and then to Biakia's... I mean, uh, I swear to God, if this ties back to the factory where it looks like he's making people, and that Biakia was an, an android or some kind of clone motherfucker, like... I don't... <laughs> if we go into robot clones, I am going to slap Monokuma. Which means the great mystery that you think surrounds that Biakia doesn't exist! You're basing it on one person's cheap speculation. What, what do you mean? You don't have to ask me that. You know the answer just by looking through the profiles, right? Huh? Wait, what? One by one, I started flipping through and confirming the names. And suddenly I came across a page that was filled with question marks. Ultimate imposter? Ooh. 
Every section was filled with question marks. It could barely be considered a student profile. On that page, I was only able to confirm one thing. Huh. That's that Biakia's true identity! What? It's true identity? He was a fake that was pretending to be the ultimate affluent progeny, Biakia Tukami! <laughs> Hold on, I Monokuma doesn't lie. <laughs> That's why I'm really uncomfortable. <clears throat> a, a fake? Oh no, this is not... The fact that his profile is filled with question marks isn't a mistake or an oversight. Surprisingly enough, that's the correct information regarding him. The ultimate imposter has no name, no permanent address, and even his age and gender is unknown. I mean, I said his, but you know, <laughs> this was before all that was made into a huge political thing. It could be a her too, or they. Basically, he doesn't exist. Because he doesn't exist, he's able- You're saying he a lot, my dude. <laughs> As it anybody. And that's his talent. Poo-hoo-hoo. I'm not that though I'm not that jealous of that of him. You know what I'm saying. Hmm. That person wasn't really Byakya Togami? Perhaps. Is that why he was so much fatter compared to when he was involved in the killing school life? So cool. <laughs> his physique doesn't affect his ability to fool others at all. Real imposters are skilled like that. Well, honestly, I didn't even think that he was an imposter. <laughs> I thought he just let himself go and got his memory wiped again. Then he was lying to us the whole time. But still. But he couldn't help it. What? Why? Why can he help it? Because oh. that was his talent. Huh? Well, having talent also means you're bound to that talent. The moment you obtain talent, your way of life has, life has already been chosen for you. This is an interesting perspective. I rarely get to get some existential philosophy out of Danganronpa, so I actually kind of like this. You can't do anything else except rely on that talent. That's not true! No, that's wrong! <laughs> Regardless of whether you want that life or not. <laughs> In that sense, compared to the other ultimates, your life might be a little more liberating. W what the hell? Anyway... I'm not happy that you guys fell for a scam that I had nothing to do with. That's right! So I'll tell you straight up, this revelation about Bianca is exactly the truth. What? Then... What What was he trying to say to me at that time? Cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Distrusting others and being distrusted in return. For a long life, my life... You know what I mean. <laughs> Based on that context, if I had to guess, no, no. maybe he was just complaining that he was cursed to wander the earth as nothing more than a fraud. <laughs> but if you guys had your school memories, you never would have been betrayed in the first place. I mean, it'd be different if you were meeting him for the first time. But since you guys went to Hope's Peak Academy, you should have already known about the ultimate imposter already. So in the end, it all leads back to memory loss. Phew. <laughs> I feel like that line was meant for more than just the people in that room. Jeez, the Future Foundation sure is awful. There's no way you should endure Monomi or the traitor. Hmm. Who is it? Who is the traitor? Just from looking at these 16 profiles, I still wouldn't know who's who from the Future Foundation. Is there really someone like that? Of course. Well, obviously you wouldn't know. I made the files so you guys can find out. So it's just as I thought. You're the one who did it. Hey, um... The fact that there are 16 profiles in there is what's wrong. Hmm. I mean, the traitor is a spy sent by the Future Foundation, not a student from Hope's Peak Academy. Jesus. Y you, you, you made a fake profile for the traitor and included it here? Correct. It would be fun if you figured out who the traitor was so easily, right? Hey, hey. Then we can't use this file to figure out who the traitor is. That was true for Nagito too, right? Hmm. Well, probably, but that guy's really smart, you know? He's got the critical thinking skills of a mad genius! And a certain other lucky guy that I met once upon a time. Alright. Hope's Peak Academy file. There's gonna be a conflict in there somewhere. <laughs> it's dripping with despair, isn't it? You wasted your precious time on something that isn't even a clue. I think it is. Are you sure about Was that a wise decision? Time's up here now. 
Time, time's up. Wait. Hi. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, so we're kicking this off. That means so much stuff, actually. So, I wonder if this would have happened. Maybe I, I was forced to explore this area last, because I'm assuming that he just wouldn't have let me in. Uh, because it seems like a lot of stuff like here was supposed to be towards the end. The ding dong and the bing bong. That chimed just now. What is most important for living things? Uh, food, water, shelter. Well, personally, I think time is. That's a good one. I mean, your bank account may go up and down, but time will inevitably run out, right? That's true. That's why we gotta cherish time. There is nothing more wasteful. Than wasting time. I actually agree with this 100%. I that's what I tell people all over the all all the time. Like just time is the most precious resource. So, time's up. We will begin the last class trial. So please gather at Monokuma Rock. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I know I'm going to end this episode off at a cliffhanger, which is why I'm really upset. There's only like 28 minutes left. <laughs> The last class trial? He said that, right? He said last class trial? Yep. Yeah, I heard it too. He really did say it was the last class trial. What do you think? Should we believe him? Um... Monok Monokuma seemed anxious about the Monokuma timer earlier, right? Two more days? And he said something about the killing school trip ending, right? Based on the time limit. This might be- this might be definitely the last one. But I can't imagine that it's the real end. I think Monokuma's real plan might just be just beyond that. His real plan? So there might be another trial after, which would make sense. It's kind of like how it happened in the other game. Because they had a, re a retrial. Is Monokuma planning on making us do something? What could it be? After putting us through all this, he's planning to kill the remaining survivors all at once? Well? But still, it's also not a good idea to think about it too much, I think. <laughs> I think we should focus on the class trial that's waiting for us first. Class trial for Nagito's murder. We're pretty screwed. <laughs> Something about that was really raw. <laughs> we haven't collected my thoughts because we were so focused on the file. I still can't see who killed him. But still. Well, you don't have to worry so much. Right? I mean, we're not fighting this alone, you know? You're right, you're absolutely right. We're not alone. Even it's a mystery that even if it's a mystery that can't be solved alone, as long as everyone cooperates and works together. Hope will prevail! You just hear Nagito in the distance. Prevail, prevail, prevail. Yeah, if you do that, things will turn out just fine. Oh man. Oh man. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Alright. Oh, Come on. Damn right. <laughs> that will never not be funny. <laughs> Looks like everyone's here. Huh? Oh, this is it? Shouldn't there be more people? No! There's six of you now! Oh wait, who's missing? Damn it. Stop it, you're making me depressed. Stupid fool. Huh. Um. So, it is going to happen again. The cruel conflict where we must doubt our friends. <laughs> but once we're through with this, we can go back, right? And we want to come a bastard said so, didn't he? He said this is the last class trial. Yeah, but he didn't say you're going back. But we've been tricked every step of the way. There's no way I can believe that so easily. Of course not! Why can't you believe it? The guy who's making us do this is the one saying it, you know? You know, right? That's why I'll definitely survive! If we can really go home after we deal with this class trial, we'll definitely find out who the killer is, no matter what. Even if to pull out all the stops. Hmm. What the you. fuck? Why are you here? You haven't realized it yet? Feeling of wanting to leave this island? Thinking that it's Monokuma's trap, you know? Huh? What are you saying? Got it? There's no way Monokuma will end things here. He's planning something far worse. <laughs> oh, I'll stop trying to jink us. Jink us. Damn right. Stupid rabbit, she just shut up. No, she's helping in her own twisted way, even though she runs away every time we get something of substance. Near something of substance. Everyone, you mustn't run away from despair. I finally realized that after losing my powers, I realized that cursing your powerfulness, powerlessness, or your fate accomplishes nothing. Possibility may be small, but as long as there's a possibility, you must face it. 
daughter to become someone who can be proud of yourself. So I will fight. Huh? What's her deal? Um. I do not really know, but she seems different than before. <laughs> Maybe she read a self-help book. Wait. But her eyes, she looks so determined. You. What can you tell just by looking at those button eyes? Uh. Anyway, make sure you turn off Minimaru. It'd be annoying if he started talking during the class trial. <laughs> oh, fine. But still. <laughs> I like. I don't know why I appreciate that touch. Somehow, I understand what Vanami is saying, I think. Anyway, let's get going. To the last class trial! <laughs> You're right. We need to fight as much as we can. No matter what hopeless truth awaits us in the end. Alright, here we go. Roar! Alright, here's that escalator. This is the end. I kept saying those words to myself over and over within my mind. I entered Monokuma Rock. This is not the end. This is not the end. Oh man, but if it's the last trial, who knows? If it really is last trial, then man. Oh my god. <laughs> Six. This elevator ride. And this elevator ride will be the last time for this too, right? I hope so. Well, Let's worry about things after we finished. Right. More importantly, we must focus on the class trial before us. No words out of Akane? Hmm. Unless she said the first thing. Akila managed to kill someone like Nagito. There's no way this is gonna go smoothly. I mean, I still can't believe one of us was able to do that. Honestly, same. Which is what makes me think he might have done it himself. Um. Nagito was problematic in many ways, but he was also a valuable asset during the trials. Yeah, you're right. Maybe he'll still well be. In fact, during the Funhouse ordeal, we were completely dependent on him. Even if he's gone, the ones who survive need to stand and fight. We must fight. And then the door slowly opened. This bright light greeting us. Is that the light of hope? Or the light of despair? Well now. Now that the chatterbox Nagito is gone, there are only six of you left. Shut the hell up! Enough, just fucking start this already. Hey. Stop this already. <clears throat> hey, this is it, right? This is really the class trial, right? Yep. It sure is. <laughs> so you guys gotta show some Enthusiasm and make sure you give it your all. All right. Didn't I tell you? He said it. This is the end. I still am thinking things. Now then. And uh, Monami is also thinking things. Let's get this trial started. Killing. This is the last class trial. Let's show some enthusiasm and kill each other. Oh! <laughs> he just freaks out. <laughs> This is the fifth class trial. According to Monokuma, this is also the last class trial. The curtain is about to rise. <laughs> hey, hey, Nagito, you looking good then. <laughs> Nagito Komaeda, the ultimate lucky student. When I first met him, I thought he was a nice guy. He came across as very sociable. But his true nature, he had such a demented thought process that was nothing like his outward appearance. He said he believed in hope more than anything else. He said he was yearning for a powerful hope that can overcome any despair. He even said he would help despair just to prove that hope would never lose to despair. <laughs> That's true. He even said he'd become a stepping stone for hope. His way of thinking was completely screwed up, but there was also times he saved us too. Someone like him was killed? That was the end of him. How do you beat luck though? I can't wait. Yeah, I had a thought that few he go. Oh, man, so many people. Ah, oh, man, and I have no idea who at all, uh, at all who did it. But there's no way we can end this without knowing. You will be consumed by despair. Sonia, Fihiko, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hajime. That's why we absolutely have to find out Anaconda. Person who finished off Nagito, the killer who murdered Nagito. Kane and Hajime, yep. In order to return from this, this this despair alive, we need to reach the truth. If Monokuma says this really is the last class trial, it's all the more reason we need to do this. 
Okay, so... This life-threatening trial, billowing with hope and despair, the last one has begun. Hell yeah! Oh, I'm excited. Okay, we got a new skill, Menacing Focus. Greatly increases the focus gauge, affecting during the class trial, cannot be combined with Extraordinary Focus. Okay, cool, let's add that. And I think we have everything, right? So, this gives us acceleration speed during Logic Drive. Which might not be good, because I can't react in time on my little snowboard. Oh, go back up. Menacing focus increases the focus gauge. Yeah. Which just means more time, right? Greatly increases the influence gauge. Yeah, we've done this. Hmm. Alright, we're done. I guess... I like to go through the truth bullets before we start, but I like to do it because I know I'm going to spend my next recording session doing this all in one sitting, and I know I'm going to need to look at all these bullets later on, so I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to do it at the top of the next episode. Let's see how far we can get here. Here we go. This is weird. I never started in the middle of an episode. Let's begin with a okay, we know who done it. Oh my, Monami, my cute little sister. What? You're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? Yeah, she's not even tied up this time. You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon because you're a rabbit. <laughs> I appreciate that joke. I got it. Oh, that's a berry from Pokemon. Damn, holding strong. One more time. She's not gonna break her resolve. How about this one? Huh. This will be my final blow. Nothing. Don't concede. It's useless. Now? I've been feeling bad for her since this whole thing began. You're right. Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monami. The class trial has started, after all. The victim this time is Nagito, who was attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake. Sake. Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious. As am I. But you know. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. Mm-hmm. No, that might not be it. Oh? Huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Well, I'm not thinking that now when it's go gonna show up right at the top of the trial. Don't say something so stupid. There's no way in hell I'm the traitor. <laughs> now that's more like it. Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? I'm sure you'd love that. The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Alright! It starts! Okay. It starts slow. Okay. Let's see, what are, what are we doing? Killer didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. Okay. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. All right. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. Mm -hmm. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? All right. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect. I believe that. Is whoever found the bomb first? That was Fuyuhiko. No, that's wrong. I, I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. <laughs> oh, I don't... I don't agree with that. Are the wounds... Oh, he thinks Killer they weren't torture? Mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. I don't think... I mean, I, the reason I, I, I think... Body was covered with wounds. I think they were. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Not a so that's why he was so beat up. Wait, th that got me all confused now. 
<laughs> that got me all confused. All right, um, Monokuma's account. Monokuma knew all along that they were fake. I think it was whoever stumbled upon the bombs first. That's the wrong thing. Definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect. I think it's this. Is whoever found the bomb first? No? Okay. Damn it! Okay, so they're thinking. Killer didn't take Nagito's Hajime thought. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. Hajime thought. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. Damn. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. He thinks that it wasn't torture, huh? He was so beat up. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see where they're getting at. By torturing him. Can we speed it up? Definitely the bomb's hiding place. Oh my god, I need to find my buttons again. If so. The suspect is whoever found the bomb first. Wait, no, not that. that was there we go. <laughs> I found it. Found it. There's no way I it's the duct tape. Because that's what I was wondering too. Because I was like, how could they have been torturing him in a sense that he wasn't even able to speak? Yeah. Because that's what. That's something I thought about. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. Oh come on! It's because the killer tortured Nagito. There we go. No, that's wrong. All right, we got it. Okay, so but Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, so he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. So we're we just gonna ignore the argument about possibly it being Fuhiko because he discovered him first. I wonder. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. Yeah, I thought about that. I should have mentioned it at the top, actually. I'm prepared. Oh, got a fight already. I just realized it. It's a trap. A trap? Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Do tell. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, so much stuff. <laughs> Alright. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap. He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated. Okay. But if you tape his mouth shut, how is he supposed to answer anything? Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. This is how it went first. Okay. The killer tortured nothing got information about the bomb's location. Um. Then, after they killed him, they duct taped his mouth shut. Duct taped his mouth shut. No, it. it's all, it was all sucked. <laughs> like he was screaming when it, oh uh, yeah. Like you said, if Nagi I think it's duct tape. This is how it went. First, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. No, there's well, duct tape on his mouth. <laughs> and then got information from his duct taped mouth. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. Yeah, because he, he had the suck. <laughs> Nagito had the suck before he died. <laughs> oh god, what's wrong with me? <laughs> what did you say? You heard what did I say? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? You have a crush on him or something? She does. Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? Indeed. I think the he was. The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? Mm-hmm. The blood on his face came from his arm wounds, which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. Okay. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Uh-huh. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Exactly. And the music helped drown it out, too. Then it's like I said at the beginning. 
The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. Well, I do think there was a little something to be said about that MP3 player as well. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Hmm. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? <laughs> that's a that's a lot. That's very sadistic. It almost makes me think, and I had this thought too, and I'll mention it now. I thought that perhaps the kill was initially done with the spear. And then all this stuff was added after the fact to make it look hella confusing. Like, then they did the lacerations on the arm, then they... Oh wait, no. Okay. It's possible they did the lacerations with the duct with his mouth duct taped and then killed him with the spear. But I almost think that being him being tied up looks like an afterthought. And the fact that his arm got free from one of the ropes too, it looks like they just left it a deliberately undone job. And then like they cut the rope and then stuck it in right when it was right there, you know? So I don't know. If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? Possibly. No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. Paying a lot of compliments, aren't you, Fuhiko? If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Sounds like something a mob person would do. Mm -hmm. The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? Can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. I like how it's deliberately showing a a, a clip, like a, a picture where Sonya's not in it. Yeah, and right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Which means the lighter might have been rigged to the door. Which means it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. It was rigged to the lighter. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Well, definitely. Some kind of setup? But I do that's think that rope tying might have been after the fact. Could be wrong. I... I do not know that. But that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? God damn it. Damn right it is! Oh, Sonia, please don't play along. The reason for the fire, huh? They're right, we need to clear that up first. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it! What do we got? some kind of setup and lit the curtain on fire with the lighter burned rope some kind of setup did they use the oil as an improvised fuse yes oh damn it i thought it had something to do with the lighter being rigged up with the rope and it like the door opening the door pull Crap. we know because it was taut okay i got excited i wanted to have a one and done the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. Could be the oil lighter. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? I think so, actually. They probably just threw the lighter. No. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. Yes. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, he could have ignited the curtain. Yes. Some way? Maybe they used invisible bread. No, I doubt it. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just fooling around, really. Could have been this. The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. 
Sometimes Did I try this? I'm gonna try this just in case. Fuck. All right, whatever. Let's see what else is after. What's after this? Should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. No. Or perhaps opening the door caused. Yes. Oh, what? Oh, I had burned rope, didn't I? No, that's exactly what I thought it was. Yes, yes. Sorry, I, I got obsessed with the burned rope for a minute. The direct path of the fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. Oh, could it be this? Lit the curtain on fire with the oh my god, is, is it totally this? Yeah. I do think it was the door. Maybe they used invisible thread. It was this. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound. I don't know how this would work, by the way, but perhaps opening the door caused Oh. Intense Damn it! To tip over the lighter. What? Wind pressure. No. I do think opening the door did it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We gotta go back to that. I think Sonia might be onto it. Although the improvised fuse as well. Wow! Oh, that's awesome. I thought it could have been what Fuhiko said too, honestly. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure. A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan. No. No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panel. Because it had like a. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene. Right? I see. So the fire really didn't spread that far into the room. It looked like they were scattered everywhere. But some were laying on top of each other, and it's just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. Does that mean anything? <laughs> when I look into the camera like this, it means I got a text. I know it looks strange. <laughs> the killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Yeah. Domino effect. You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? Yes. In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So oh, that door, front of the rear house is so much bigger than I thought. And from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. Yeah, it's so much bigger than I thought. Wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. Yeah. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. I like that. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? Hmm? Killer thing that they did? <gasps> um. The music? Yeah, the music. I see. Oh, that explains the music. Okay, great. You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. Makes sense. <laughs> the darkness, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that's the hymnal that they were hearing. Because I know they play this as, you know, it's a Danganronpa soundtrack music. Alright. Yeah. Great. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels falling. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Oh? Looking back on it. It was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine, I'll open it slowly. Yeah, because they were all up against the wall. Okay, that's interesting. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. So they needed to ensure that a lot of force... By a, a lot of force was used. And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter. <laughs> that's a lot of faith in that plan. <laughs> what if they went the other way? Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire. At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway. There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? Hmm. It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. 
Yeah, they would have been inside. Oh, no? Well, it was one of you. Crap. What? Uh, what? Really? Problem she's talking about is... I <laughs> couldn't take any merge. We couldn't see... In I want to see what he says. The problem you're talking about is the fact that we couldn't take any of the merch that was inside. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. I can't believe you actually like that black and white cat mascot. I'm a bear! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, I'm so glad I did that. Oh my god, I'm so glad I did that. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Yeah, it's obviously um, this. The killer couldn't have left. That was so good. That it could barely be open. The killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave. Now that you mention it. Yep. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Of course. Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. Based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. Oh wait, you're right. They're right. So then, him. Oh, but then it said time of death was twelve. Ah, we need to know the time. The time is the most important piece of this. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. <gasps> this early in the trial? Oh, you know we're going to find out in the next episode. Haha. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Smack the bell so you never miss a thing. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you, Blade Cross, for supporting me on Patreon. And I'll see you all in the next one. And you know the next one. That means it's going to be just straight through. Which means we're also going to have the episodes ending with the...